Tampa, Philly, two bitter rivals, one ultimate goal. Who will survive? The LFL Eastern Playoff is next. Live from Citizens Business Bank Arena in picturesque Ontario, California, just outside of LA. Two strong armies converge in the same battlefield this afternoon as the Tampa Breeze and Philadelphia Passion fight for Eastern Conference supremacy. Hi everybody, I'm Tom Dore alongside former University of Florida great quarterback Bob Huco and Bobby. One of the big reasons Tampa's here is the improved play of their quarterback, K.K. Matheny. Absolutely right, Tommy. All fantasy quarterback, K.K. Matheny, is second in the league in passing proficiency and has thrown zero interceptions this year. But the big story tonight is going to be on defense. Tampa is led by three-time all-fantasy player Liz Gorman. She's the most feared player in the league, and she leads the league in tackling. And you can't forget about Adrian Purnell, the linebacker. She's the heart of the team and the glue that keeps Tampa's defense together. Now for a look at the Philadelphia Passion and their number one ranked offense. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Lauren Gardner. Thanks, Tom. Well, the Philadelphia Passion at 4-0 have dominated the competition so far this season. But serious concerns still remain surrounding their uncertain quarterback position. Starter Christy Bell has struggled to find consistency this season despite her team's success. Now the key to the Passion is reigning Offensive Player of the Year, Mary Rose Roach, who currently accounts for 54% of her team's total offense. Now in order to stop the Passion or even slow them down today, Tampa will have to stop Roach. Guys. Well, it's time to lace them up. Can Tampa shock the world and knock out Philly? Kickoff's coming up next. We're just moments away from the kickoff. Lauren Gardner down the field with two of today's key players. Thank you, Tom. I'm alongside Tampa's Liz Gorman. Now, Liz, it's been a roller coaster season for this squad. What would it mean to you to have a trip to the lingerie bowl for the first time ever? You know, I've been here, I've been a vet, I've been here before, and you know what, my team has worked way too hard to just go home. We're sick of the criticism, we're sick of the judgments. I mean, we're a talented team, and that's why we're here today. It's not luck, it's not anything else, so we're here to prove that. Thank you very much, Liz. A lot to prove for Tampa. I'm also alongside Philadelphia Passion, Lauren LaBella. Now, Lauren, your team fell short of a lingerie bowl title last season by just two points. How special would it be to you to make it back there again? It means everything. It's our time. We're going back to Vegas, and we're taking it this time. Bye-bye, Tampa. Have a safe flight home. It looks like we have a great matchup ahead of us, guys. Let's get started. Oh, you love that, don't you, Bobby? Head coach of the Philadelphia Passion is Chandler Brown, a veteran. He's done this for a long time. He understands the lingerie football playoff system. He is one of the veterans. And of course, Yo Murphy from the great glory days of the St. Louis Cardinals. This guy can flat catch the football, and he's a terrific coach. Absolutely, Tom. Now I'm fired up. Philadelphia is coming here 4 0. Tampa got beat by him 48 to nothing, Tommy. But tonight it's going to be a different story, I think. It's going to be a fun game. Betting line for this Eastern Conference Final set by MGM Resorts International has Philadelphia an 11 and a half point favor over under of 56 and a half. We're ready to go. Do or die. The road to Vegas starts right now. Liz Gorman set to kick. Mary Rose Roach, the MVP, is set to receive. Roach is probably the number one player ever to play in the LFL can't be stopped. That's going to be the key today if anybody can stop Mary Rose Roach. Here comes Gorman's kick. Very high, very short kick. Bounces about the 15 and it will go out of bounds. And Philly will have it right there, first and 10. I think that was a little bit of jitters right there. That ball came off the tee like a golf shot. She shanked it right. Like whose golf shot? Like, like yours, Tommy. <laughs> first and 10, Philadelphia. You've seen or heard a little bit too much, I think. Oh, my. Christy Bell is a quarterback who's got to manage this football game. See her numbers, not terrific. Three touchdowns, one interception. She was the lingerie, the all-fantasy MVP. And she's a player that understands this offense very well by Chandler Brown. It's going to be fun. I look for her to come out passing. They're expecting Roach to get the ball, but I wouldn't be surprised if he starts throwing the ball. Little pitch forward. Here comes Roach around the right side. Across the 20, she's in to Tampa Field. 
and she is inside the 20 yard line before she will finally be dropped down. Tommy, this is what got Philadelphia here. Giving the ball to Rose, it's like, hey, here she comes. I want you to see her stop her. Just a basic sweep right. Look at this. She could start for Alabama, she could start for the Eagles, the best player in the league right there, Mary Rose Roach. Christy Bell fades back, looking deep, looking down the field, and it is caught! Touchdown, corner of the end zone. Stephanie Orji with it in the corner of the end zone. Just what you talked about a minute ago, Bob. Wow. Tampa playing for the run, and Philly's looking long. Unbelievable. Stephanie Orji, probably the most dangerous player out here. Watch this, it's a straight streak pattern. She steps up, Bell, nobody thinks she can throw like this. A streak pattern, Orji double clutches and catches off the wall. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Now, they generally go from what we call the wild Roach formation. They've got trips to the right, and that's what it is. Roach is back at quarterback. She brings it right up the middle, bounces in, and it is good. The two-point conversion is good. It is 8-0 Philadelphia after two plays, Bob. How quick was that? You knew what's going to happen. Give the ball to Roach. What you did expect, though, is to Bell step back and fire a bomb to Orgy like that. This is actually what happened the first time they played. They need Tampa to answer right now. It's going to be interesting, Tommy. Philadelphia probably had the easiest schedule in the NFL this season. They did not have to play Orlando. When they got Tampa in this first game, four of Tampa's offensive starters were out. But you can see they steamrolled everybody. Look at that offense. They're number one. They average over 50 points a game. Tampa's got to answer right here. Matheny's got dual receivers to the right side. Tiffany Powers is the running back behind her. Gorman, the receiver, goes in motion to the near side. Now goes in motion toward the line of scrimmage. It's a fake handoff, looking deep. She hangs one up and it is intercepted, picked off by Roach. Roach across the 20, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, down to the two yard line. And KK Matheny is down and hurt. What a start for Philadelphia. Watch this, I don't, I don't mind the call at all, Tommy. Trying to score quick, answer quick. The problem is KK just underthrows the ball. She gets hit, the ball sails. The Roach is right there. I'm surprised she didn't take this in, but what a start for Philadelphia. Watch out, camera guy. Roach goes down, and Matheny is being attended to. Down at about the nine-yard line, she is down. Let's take a look at the offensive starters for the Philadelphia Passion. And we talk so much about Mary Rose Roach as it looks like Matheny's gonna get up and you hope she's okay. She gets a nice hand from this LA partisan crowd. There's Roach, the all everything player, not only for Philadelphia, but in this league. And Jenna Robertson is their center and an all fantasy pick this year. Robertson is one of those that they've got to have. Play clock starts and they will go again from the first wild goal, approach formation. First goal. What a start, Tommy. Philadelphia came to play today. It, 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 it couldn't have start more horribly for Tampa, losing their quarterback, and it looks like Philly's going to go in for another, another conversion right here. Snap. Roach is going to come around the outside, trying to fight her way in. And a terrific job by Tampa to gang tackle her. There's some elbows thrown. Courtney Wilder, the daughter of the former NFL great running back James Wilder, in on the stop. There's Roach. Courtney Wilder's going to have to play big tonight. Yeah. She is, she's stepped in for Stein, Steinmetz, came in, started playing great. She's going to step up big time. Adrian Purnell in the middle and Liz Gorman in the outside. Gorman, the perennial all-star, defensive player of the year twice in this league. Roach will get the direct snap again, trying to fix that helmet. Now she's set. Snap right up the middle. That is very easy. A terrific job by the Philadelphia offensive line. And Mary Rose Roach has scored her second, uh, her first touchdown of the game. You know what's coming. Direct, hand, direct snap right to Roach. She goes right up the middle. A great block on Gorman. She got sandwiched right there. She did not have a chance to get in a play. Now Roach kind of slipped. At the end of the of the field, there's a little bit of cement where the field ends, and she kind of slipped a little bit right at the end. We're going to have to see if she's okay. She looked like she might have slipped and, and pulled something, but I'm not sure. She is in the Wildcat formation, has it, looking to throw the football. Pump fakes, rolls out, and throws it very late, and the pass is incomplete. A flag down, she's across the line of scrimmage. The pass will be 
uh, the play will be incomplete. Illegal blitz. There's no blitzing on an extra point. Half the distance to the goal. Replay the extra point. Oh, my. No blitzing on an extra point. And that guy right there wrote the rule. Lauren Gardner standing by. What's up, Lauren? Yeah, guys, an injury update on Tampa's KK Matheny. It's a rib contusion. She's definitely in a lot of discomfort, but that will not stop her from getting back in the game this next series. You might have to kill KK Matheny to keep her off the field. That's great news for Tampa, because if they lost her, it might be hopeless for, for the freeze today. I'm looking forward to her coming back. She's got a great arm. She's all fantasy. She's got to step up her game when they get the ball back. Now Christy Bell has come back into the game. And Roach is out. Roach is being worked on on the sideline. Bell, handoff, goes along the right side, Jenny. Butler and Butler runs into a brick wall. That's what Tampa has to do, play defense like that. But Philadelphia is stacked at running back. They have Butler behind the Roach. They have their three deep at running back. They can play with anybody with their backs. Mary Roach Roach is noticeably limping in midfield right now. She's staying in the game, though. I'd be, it'd be shocker here in the playoffs if she comes out unless it's a major injury. And there's Matheny. K.K. Matheny back in at quarterback. One of the toughest players in this league. They're going to have to settle down. I don't think she's going to throw right off the bat. Just get something going on the ground. Hopefully, Tampa can score on this drive. Motion goes Gorman out to the far side, handoff. Wilder comes along the left side, cuts up the field, inside the Philadelphia territory. She's down to the passion 19-yard line. First down for Tampa. That's good for us. McCrary with the stop. Take a look back. They bring Gorman in motion to the right, then they have an inside trap to Wilder going to the left. She runs like her dad. Her dad was one of the top running backs with the Tampa Bay Bucks, and her brother plays for Florida State. First down. Motion comes to the near side. That's Brittany Williams. Hand off right side. There's Gorman. Gorman's got a first down and more. Ran into our cameraman. And we've got to see if everybody's okay. Had a little collision over there on the side. Roach with the tackle. Jenny Butler got tackled up. Got tangled up not only with, a, with our camera guys, but with the chain gang as well. This shows you how good and what a player Liz Gorman is. Takes out our cameraman. She keeps going. She's out of bounds, but she's not going to stop. She wants to score. First and goal for Tampa now as they have come roaring right down the field. Matheny with twin backs right next to her. Motion goes to the far side. That's Brittany Williams. And Gorman on a keeper, and she is going down back at the nine-yard line. Angela Perfetto with a great blitz. And that defense by Philly is the best in the league for a reason. A loss of four. Loss of four. They're going to have to throw it right now. K.K. Matheny is one of the top throwers in the league. She should come up right now. Gorman is stepping up on offense. She hasn't played offense all year, but she's looking strong right now, Tommy. And Courtney Wilder, who we've mentioned, is a terrific threat for this Tampa team on the offensive line. She lines up at tight end on the right-hand side right now. Receiver split to both sides. Matheny looks over the defense. Matheny rolls back, little jump pass, it is caught down at about the six yard line and going absolutely nowhere. Terrific defense. Jaleesa McCrary has really played well already. And now it's a big third down. They've run once, they've thrown once. Third down for Tampa as Liz Gorman leaves the field. I like that play though. They brought Williams in motion like that, then throw it out to her in the flat again. It all, but she almost broke that for a score. Got to hurry. Dual receivers behind her. Motion goes to the left side. Third and goal from the six yard line. Almost drew Philadelphia offside. Delay handoff goes right up the middle. She's inside the five, down to the goal line, and she'll be stopped right there. Tiffany Powers got right to the goal line and was tripped up right there. It is fourth and goal, and Bobby, early on, what a huge play for Tampa right here. I'm going to tell you what, that's a, that's a name out of the pass. Tiffany Powers takes the ball inside. This girl last year was all fantasy team, all league last year. Look at that, breaks a tackle. They try to trip her. She doesn't go down. She takes it down, almost stretches it in. Her knee was down. It didn't cross the plane. Matheny, fourth and goal, right on the goal line. Looks up, she's in trouble, throws, and it's incomplete. 
terrific rush by Shanae Thomas, an all-fantasy linebacker. Thomas right in the middle, the blitz, and it will be Philly ball. Tampa is denied. 14-0, Philly with the score. There's the throw, incomplete. Philly leads it, we'll be right back. Welcome back to LA. It is 14-0 Philadelphia already. And fans stay logged on to Twitter throughout the game. Nominees for the ultimate LFL fan fave are being tabulated. Voting will open at the end of the game. And up here in the booth, we are joined by the founder and commissioner of the LFL, Mitch Mortaza. And Mitch, when you started this a few years ago, kind of a stunt, a halftime stunt for the Super Bowl, do you have any dream that it would ever get to be like this? No, it's amazing. We pinch ourselves all the time. You know, Tom, you, Tommy, you've been around since uh, the beginning of this thing, and Bob coached for us. It's been an am amazing ride, and it's these ladies, you know, they've turned it into a whole different. Philadelphia with the football, pitch straight ahead, Roach in the backfield, wow. down! down. That's Safety! That's what Tampa has to do, Tommy. Mitch, that's, that's unbelievable. That's what Tampa has to do. You gotta make a stop. You're backed up like that. This is an opportunity to turn the momentum around and for Tampa to start building something here. Who else? Who else but Liz Gorman to come through, stop the Roach in the backfield? Unbelievable. I don't think the Roach has been stopped for a loss all year. Well, what a terrific play, and what a huge needed play for Tampa at a time when they had to have a big play, and now they get it their own 15-yard line. Liz Gorman is unbelievable. Mitch, in a mere three years, she would become the premier women's tackle football league. And then when I compare, I looked at the WWE and the UFC over their first three years, you have more national viewership, attendance, and overall growth. Once again, you know, it comes down to the product. If it wasn't a tangible product, wasn't a great football game, we wouldn't be where we are. Matheny brings motion. That's coming to the near side. Brittany Williams. Now Gorman goes, so we got trips to the left side. Quick fake. Matheny looks. Oh. Right from the pass is dropped. Bryn Renda, who's got terrific hands, just couldn't quite hang on to that one. And Mitch, you were talking about the growth. It has just been phenomenal. You know, it's, it's something that we're certainly building with here. We're going to add more teams here in the States. We're headed international. Fans know we're going to have LFL Canada this fall. And then we're going to be in Australia and Europe. So it's going to be a fun ride. It's a matter of finding great athletes that are obviously marketable. And who would have known? There's so many beautiful women out there this athletic and can play football at this high level. One of the girls from Los Angeles is actually from Australia. That's right, Chloe Butler. Motion goes to the far side, handoff. Looking to make a move up the middle and not finding any room whatsoever is Tiffany Powers. Powers maybe got a yard, and now very dangerous time. It is third and ten, and they've got to throw once and run once. And boy, Philly does such a terrific job against the run, don't they, Bobby? Mitch, well, we got you in the booth. You gotta love this. Last year, Tiffany Powers was an all fantasy player. This year, she can't even start for Tampa. That's how much talent's out there. It, it truly is. If you're seeing all fantasy players that were all fantasy the year previous, not even making rosters this year year, let alone getting out on the field. Deuce backfield, now motion comes to the near side, that's Williams. Now Williams is going to go in motion, that's Yo Murphy at his best. Fake a handoff, looking deep, steps up, throws, and it is incomplete. Pretty good defense play by Philadelphia there as the pass is incomplete, and it's a huge fourth down, fourth and nine. And Mitch, all this sets up next weekend. Lingerie Bowl one more time. What a terrific setting it's going to be. In Amazing. This keeps up. You know, you have Philadelphia possibly back in it, but I think Tampa's going to have something to say about that when their butterflies die down here a little bit. I think that's what's happening here a little bit, guys. Maybe we're seeing a little bit of butterflies in Tampa. You're absolutely right. KK Matheny had Wilder down the sideline, but she threw a BB instead of laying it up. That could have been a touchdown. Matheny looks over the defense. Gets the snap, fades back. Now buys some time, do a terrific job by her offensive line. Now Matheny steps up, throws, it's caught by Renda, and she is stopped at the 20 yard line. Philadelphia will have it first and 10 at the Tampa 20 yard line. And the Philadelphia Passion defense with two shutouts this year stops Tampa right there. Great protection, they actually had maximum protection. She threw it out there trying to get a girl underneath to get the first down, but Wesley Peronish came up and stuck her so hard, not even close to a first down. So this is a huge defensive series right now for Gorman and the Breeze because if Philly scores here and goes up 20 or 21 to two, it could get ugly. Christy Bell with that touchdown pass early fakes. Now looking long again, looking into the end zone. It wow. is caught, touchdown. Wow. 
unbelievable throw and catch. Whitney Piranish, corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Philly. Just what you were talking about, Bobby. It's 20 to 2, passion. I think Christy Bell is a little bit upset that people say she can't throw. She throws it up top to Whitney Peronis, who just made that stick on defense. The next play, she catches the touchdown. Unbelievable. They're going for the jugular. You know, this is just like Coach Chandler Brown. When, when the opponent's down and he's got him against the ropes here, he's going for the jugular. We're up 20, possibly 22 points here. We'll see how this plays itself out, but this is typical Chandler Brown. Roach again going in the wild roach. The wild cat, we call it the wild roach formation. Takes the snap, runs right up the middle, makes a move, and again, that Tampa defensive front four have just been terrific. And I say four, I'm adding Gorman in there because she ends up to basically be a fourth line woman. And just a terrific stop by then. 20 to two is our score. Mitch, next week, Las Vegas. I am so fired up for the lingerie bowl. Can you tell us a little bit what else you got going on? You know, we're taking over the town Super Bowl weekend. It's become the destination for LFL football Super Bowl weekend in Las Vegas. We've got parties, we've got celebrity golf tournaments, and obviously the capper of it all is going to be Sunday afternoon. One of two of these teams are going to go and play on one of the biggest stages in football, and it's an exciting time for us right now. The game's going to be played at the Orleans Arena. Yeah, Orleans Arena in Vegas. We're expecting a huge crowd. Should be a fun environment. Matheny up under center. Handoff goes right up the middle. It should get about three or four yards. And boy, a lot of talking. Hey, this is fun up here, guys. I can't believe we pay you guys for this. <laughs> Very quick. Tampa trying to up the pace a little bit. Wilder goes from the defense or from the uh, offensive running back spot. Now gets out to about the 24-yard line. It'll be third and one. She's I like a, this by Tampa, trying to speed things up. I think you've got to kind of get Philadelphia's defense a little off balance. They're attacking right now, it seems, and there you go, road to the playoffs. Yeah, lost to Philly first game with those players, but then. Terrific game against Toronto. Played very well in a tight game against Cleveland. And then a terrific job. Just an unbelievable game against Orlando to defeat a very highly regarded Orlando team. Matheny steps up. Throws Gorman. has got it out for a first down. That's down to about the 21-yard line of Philly. And we got a little pushing and shoving. Heather Roy and Courtney Wilder going at it. Mitch, no I, can't, I cannot believe the talent level of Philadelphia this year. When I talk to Coach Brown, they're three deep at every position, and they're mad. They thought they had the lingerie ball last year. They lost to L.A. late. They're ready to play today. Falling two points short. They're out to prove something here. Matheny looks over the defense, puts Gorman in motion. Handoff, Wilder goes right up the middle. Oh, what a shot! Number 14, Courtney Wilder. Jenny Butler just delivered a crushing blow to Courtney Wilder. She was stood up, and Butler finished her off. Defensive Player of the Year nominee there, Jenny Butler, who's been a huge, huge addition for Coach Plan Brown in this defense. You can see here, she stays in her gap and comes in and closes hard. That's 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 world class football right there. Yeah, she she is a terrific player. And she she could start at running back for any other team, but here she's a backup behind the ropes. Second and seven after that three yard game. Take a handoff. Matheny rolls out. She's got all kinds of green in front of her. Now throws it's caught by Wilder. She's inside the ten. Spins across the five. Touchdown. Awesome. Tampa. Awesome. Courtney Wilder has got to be one of the favorites as a rookie candidate. She is just a, a smart, aggressive, terrific football player. Unbelievable play by KK Matheny. She was getting hit. She checked down, hit Wilder, who's a, also a two-way fantasy player, for a touchdown. Great play by Matheny and Wilder. It's in the genes, guys. That's the daughter of uh, James Wilder, the famous Tampa Bay Buck. Yes, I actually was on the team with him. Oh, really? That's how old I am. <laughs> and he's my buddy from Missouri, the Sykeston Train. Motion comes to the near side. That's Brittany Williams. Flag is down. Hand off the left side. And Gorman got in. Let's, let's wait and see what the flag is. DSG Strimmer. Here's the information on the defense. Four middle linemen. That penalty's declined. Result of the play is touchdown. Touchdown, Tampa. 
How about that? And Lauren Gardner is standing by. What's up, Lauren? Yeah, guys, I'm on Philly's bench. I was able to lift it in at that last huddle. This is exactly what Coach Brown was afraid of. His message to his offense was, guys, we cannot let up into his defense. We need to hurt these guys. It doesn't matter what the score is. There's still a lot of ball to play, and it's very indicative of that last play. But 20 to 10, All right, and you can tell right now, you just look at Tampa run into their defensive huddle. This is a, now, this is a team that you really believe they're in this game. You're seeing a little momentum shift here. Now this is where you see Gorman step up and make a big play. Let's see if she's got something in the tank here. Take a handoff for Roach, looking deep. The pass is up. Wow. Oh, down at the five yard line. Christy Listen. Bell is playing with a chip on her shoulder today. That's right. I think I think she heard you talking about their running game and not their passing game. You know, we talked about her being possibly the fourth least or least talented quarterback going into these playoffs. She's proven otherwise here early in this in the first half. I saw her before the game, and she was not smiling. She she's coming out here ready to throw. Two minutes left, 20 to 10, Philadelphia with the lead and the football down at the three yard line. We'll take a break. Terrific catch. We'll be right back. Back here in LA, 20 to 10, Philadelphia with the lead and the football down at the three yard line of Tampa. Let's listen in. Liz Gorman was wired up. We have to. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Liz Gorman is one of the ultimate competitors in all of sports. Women's sports, men's sports, kids sports. She comes to play. Liz Gorman is a baller. She's not going to let Tampa lose today. First and goal. Football to three. Roach with it. Comes around the outside, gets a terrific block, and fumbles the football. Tampa's wow, down. Wow. Wilder, 20, 25, 20, 15, 10, down to the eight-yard line. What an unbelievable turn. That's incredible. Liz Gorman again. We just talked about her. We just heard her on mic'd up. Watch this play. She single-handedly is going to win this game. I think I'm watching Tebow here. This is incredible. She hits the ropes. The best running back ever, head on, causes the fumble. Wilder scoops it up, almost went coast to coast. We got a ball game, Tommy. You gotta give Liz Gorman, you can see the shoulder shaft that she's got. Her knee hurts badly, her shoulder badly injured, and yet, She's not coming out of this game. And she told me before the game, nobody knows, she has a torn meniscus in her knee and she's still playing. This is incredible performance. Wide receiver goes in motion to the left side. That's Williams. Matheny gets the snap, fakes a handoff. Now a little shovel pass ahead. That's Gorman. And we've got a flag down. And I think this could be holding as the ball goes to about the six. Jenny Butler with the stop. Here's Steve Strimley. Holding, offense number 16. Five yards from the previous spot, replay first down. I think there was a little mix up back there. I think Gorman was supposed to get the ball early. She stalled, I think the hold came late, but Steve Stringer, let me talk about him. He is the number first one referee in the league. Oh, easily, yeah. Look, should have been, Gorman thought she's getting the ball. KK didn't know whether to give it or not. Gave her a little pitch, but waited too, so long it became a hold. So now it is second and goal, football at the 12 yard line. Here's Yo Murphy in his movement motion as Williams goes back behind center. Matheny fades back under pressure. Got Williams on the right side, throws. Williams got it down inside the 10. What a catch. Jenny Butler with the tackle. Got it down to about the seven yard line. It is third down, third goal. You can tell why KK Matheny is all fantasy. She stays in the pocket. She doesn't get rattled, moves around, finds somebody open. If they score here and make this game 2017, I cannot wait for the second half. Oh, yeah. I said third goal. I'm sorry. There was a holding penalty, so it's second and goal. Football again at the seven yard line. Here's that motion again from Yoder from the greatest show on turf. Motion is Wilder back behind. Handoff, Wilder up the middle. The up second coming of the Sykeston train is in. Touchdown. 
Courtney Wilder, daughter of James Wilder, the NFL star, is in touchdown, and they're going for two. I think she has more moves than her dad. I mean, uh, she looks incredible oh, out there. There's no doubt she's got more moves than dad. Quick pitch outside. Look at these moves out there. Way better than dad. I think her brother might be with her, though. Yeah, absolutely. The star at Florida State, or coming future star at Florida State, 20 to 16, going for two. What a family. They got dad to play for the Bucks, brother with FSU. Their dog must be a greyhound. It's telling all through that family. <laughs> That's a good call. Motion goes to the near side. Matheny, handoff, Gorman, cuts back inside, fights to get in, reaches out. She might have made it. And let's wait. She might have crossed. The ball came out. No, they say she did not get in. The extra point is no good, and now we've got a fight in the end zone. Jenny Butler going after. Brittany Williams in the end zone. Butler ripped the football away and then fired it at Williams. And this is now a ball game. Partner. It's interesting. She might have crossed the plane. I want to see this again. Let's, let's see the end. Gorman, oh, this is the end. This is the fight at the end. Gorman, look, she's trying to be not, no, don't, don't do that to Gorman. You don't want her mad in the second half. I think she might have crossed the plane though, Tommy. She was in and, and the ref said, no, she didn't make it in. Well, that could be a, a huge play. It was the referee that was at the very back of the end zone that signaled it was no good. Remember those two points right there. Bell fakes a handoff, looking long, looking for Karanish again. And he oh! is caught and dropped. It hit her right in the hands. A perfect throw by Christy Bell. Baranis just cannot quite hang on. It's incomplete, second and 10. You gotta love the call by Chandler Brown. They scored twice already on it. What a pass by Christy Bell. She looks like Tom Brady throwing out there. What a, what a performance today by Bell. The All-Fantasy Game MVP, Christy Bell, a much maligned quarterback, has been terrific so far this afternoon. Handoff goes to Roach. Roach comes around the outside. There she goes. She's into Tampa territory. Finally brought down inside the 20 at about the 18. Brenda, Brenda, among others, on the stop. And it is first down for Philadelphia. Roach is a coach's dream, Tommy. She's got the biggest. Here's the run. Watch her. She is. She's got the biggest heart in the world to go along with this talent. She reads the blocks, goes outside, cuts back inside. They try to tackle her high, which she could not do. Same play, handoff Roach around the right side, inside the 10, fights her way down. Courtney Wilder with the stop at about the four yard line. And we've got another Tampa player who is hurt. Is that Brenda? Inside handoff to the Roach right there. I would not want to be on the other side of this right now. Adrian Purnell is who we're told it is. It's down on the field, and this would be a huge blow. She is a terrific member of that defensive front. She may have just gotten the wind knocked out of her. In the first game of the year against Philadelphia, Tampa had four of their players out of the game. We, as we saw, it was a huge loss, 48-0. But KK Matheny wasn't there. Bryn Render wasn't there. Their starting center, Wilmer, was not there. I, this, is, this is a team that was really struggling. Tiffany Powers wasn't there. So when you lose those kind of players, you lose, you lose your offense, basically, Bob. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, all the Philadelphia fans, when they see the score early in the season, 48 nothing, they thought it was going to be, I want to say the word breeze today against Tampa. But as you see, Gorman and KK have the girls ready to play today, Tommy. This is not that same team. Get back down in the field for more on Tampa. Here's Lawrence. Yeah, guys, well, just four points out of it. This is exactly what they had in mind for their game plan. They said defensively, we take Mary Rose Roach out of this, and we are going to have a shot at this game. All we have to do is play the run and force them to pass, and they're bound to throw a pick. And, guys, it seems to be working so far. Yeah, we got a four-point game, although Philadelphia's got it. Now first and goal at the Tampa four-yard line. First and goal, Philly from the four. First and goal. When you get inside the five, and you got the Roach in the backfield, Tommy. you got to give it to her. They know she's getting the ball, but watch Gorman come from the safety position. This is why I love this game. Gorman's going to come flying up and try to hit the Roach. Clock is winding down. The play clock at 14, 13, 12, and Philadelphia is going to break the huddle at 12. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. 30 seconds left in the first half. 
They go from a wild Roach formation. Roach puts Varanish in motion. Roach slips and falls down at about the three and fights forward and is not in. 18, 17, 16, Chandler Brown, I think, will call a timeout. You got to no, hurry. They're going to try and spike this football. Not the rope. She's going to, oh, she was going to score. And we've got flags down. This could be a huge blow for Philadelphia. Let's wait and see what the official says. Please reset the game clock to 10 seconds. Encroachment on the defense with contact. Wow. Half the distance to the goal, replay second down. Wow, how huge is that? Second and goal. Big mistake. Adrian Purnell is back in. May just got the wind knocked out of her. Now, this will be a power move. Roach going right up the middle. There she is, dives in, touchdown. Mary Rose Roach just followed center, and she is in for a huge Philadelphia touchdown. That's the quarterback sneak, get the ball to Roach, go right up the middle. You know she's getting the ball. You can't stop that. For one yard, you can't stop the Roach for one yard. Tampa needed to come up with a big stop before the half, but look, right now, 26-16. Philadelphia will go for two here, and Tampa has been tough on these two-point conversions. That front line for Philadelphia has just been unbelievable all season long. All year, absolutely right, Tommy. Roach gets it, tries to cut back up the middle, and she's very close and in. Mary Rose Roach with six seconds to go, puts the two-point conversion in. And Here's now Philadelphia puts 28. two more up. It's 28-16 with six seconds to go. If you're Matheny here, my thought is you're looking for one receiver. You're looking for Bryn Renda, who's got terrific hands, not the fastest, but you throw it to Renda here, wouldn't you, Bobby? Well, you got an all fantasy quarterback, KK Matheny. You got Renda back there. You also got Wilder to keep catch. You're down 12 points, six seconds left. It's the playoff, Tommy. You got to go for it. You got to try something here. Buffini takes her time. Takes the snap, fades back. Under pressure, steps up, throws, and got hit hard. And it's a little out pass that goes to the right side. And she's not going to get very far. Tiffany Powers with it to Lisa McCrary with the stop, and that is halftime. 28 to 16, Philadelphia with the lead at halftime. A great job by the Philadelphia Passion, but what a comeback by the Tampa Storm as they just rolled back and we thought they were done. We did think they were done, Tommy. They had two points, but look, they got two touchdowns in. Now let's go down to the field. Lauren Gardner standing by with Tampa head coach Joe Murphy. Lauren? Thank you, Tom. Coach, well, this is definitely quite a game we have on our hands. What have you liked about your team's play so far? Um, you know, we're down 14 to nothing, and they just kept battling. We've, you know, we've given up some really good opportunities. Um, you can't do that with a good team, but as long as we keep fighting, then we're going to come out on top. What have you guys done to fight Philly's offensive line? That's definitely the heart and soul of their team along with Rose. Uh, you know, the, the big thing about us is if we're in the right spots, we have so much talent, we're going to do all right. But once we get out of our lanes, you know, you can't contain them. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Best of luck in the second half. Hey, we're going to take a quick timeout right now. The score currently is 28 to 16. Philly over Tampa. We'll be back with our halftime coverage of the LFL Conference playoffs right here on MTV2. Twenty-eight, eighteen. as we see just a terrific first half. Philadelphia was outstanding. What a comeback by Tampa. Now let's go down to that Tampa locker room. Liz Gorman is leading them in. Don't let them see you do that. Let's go. They act like we're a piece of shit. Did we work this hard? Why are they acting like they already won? Huh? We got a second half. We got a second half. You're right. Hey, listen, 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 listen one second. Listen, okay, if you guys go through the game, 
They've been throwing the ball up deep. We let Rose get loose twice, all right? Well, That's this it. has been a terrific first half. Here comes Wilder, comes around the outside, just fights her way in, and Tampa has fought back to make it 28-16. We'll be right back. Twenty-eight sixteen. our score is the passion lead to Tampa Breeze. We're at halftime here in Los Angeles. Let's go down to the locker room. Lauren LaBella, offensive line woman for the Philadelphia Passion, talking to her team. Playing silly passion ball. We didn't play it. 17 minutes. We played it five, then off, then five, then off. Let's go. 17 minutes of our game or we lose and are going home. We're not coming back. We're taking the game. Let's go, ladies. Let's take a look at our halftime stats and uh, all leading up to lingerie 2012 lingerie ball. Bobby, stats? I think the biggest thing is the passing yards for the passion. 69 yards. They only run for 57. You knew the Roach was going to get the ball, but who would have thought Bell would pass like that? And that's the start of the passing that you're talking about right there. Stephanie Orji with the long touchdown catch. Mary Rose Roach, it's been fairly easy for her for most of this first half. A safety, this Tampa defense just all of a sudden came to life, but Bell right back with the answer to Peronic, the corner of the end zone. Whitney Peronic has been terrific. KK Matheny found our first half Tampa star, Courtney Wilder. She just refused to go down and takes it in the end zone and does it again here on the extra point. Courtney Wilder and the Tampa Breeze right back. 28-16, but Roach just refuses to be denied. The passions have been outstanding. 28-16, our score, a 12-point game. Tampa will get it when we come back here to LA. And welcome back inside the Citizens Business Bank Arena. We're about to kick off the second half of the LFL Eastern Conference playoff. Philadelphia up over Tampa by a score of 28 to 16. Lauren Gardner alongside Philly's head coach, Chandler Brown. Now, coach, I was just chatting with you a little bit during break. You said you're extremely nervous, even depressed, but what was your message to this team? Get rid of the mistakes and we get rid of Tampa, you know? They're very, very well coached. They're a great team. They take advantage of the mistakes we made. So hopefully we clean up our end and we'll be fine. What's the key to the second half, Coach? Our defense. We keep shutting them down. They can't win. Right now, if they don't score any more points, we win. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Sheltrice Turner is back deep to receive Heather Roy's kick. Sheltrice Turner is a terrific receiver. She overcame both parents being in prison, growing up in a group home. She's a writer for the Tampa Tribune. She's a high school reporter. Here's the kick, and this one will go out of bounds. And after all that, Sheltrice Turner doesn't get a chance to carry the ball. That looked like a Tiger Woods snap hook right there. Tiger Woods doesn't snap hook many. I think that was more like a uh, Bobby Yuko snap hook. <laughs> snap dragon hook is what that baby was. Tommy, right, first and ten. This is huge. You've got to come out right now, and you've got to show that you're still in this game. You know who's got to step up is all fantasy quarterback K.K. Matheny. She didn't throw the ball good the first half. That passing game wasn't much. Seven and a half points per game allowed is Philadelphia defense. Already allowed 16, and Tampa looking for more. Matheny puts Gorman in motion. She'll come to the near side. Matheny. Fakes left, now throws right side. It's Wilder. Wilder with a terrific shot. Gets out across the 20. Out to about the 21 yard line. Jenny Butler with the stop. Up, three, It'll be about a six yard gain. Make it second and four. When her dad she played for the Bucks, John McKay used four, to give him the ball 40 times a game. I think in the second half, Yo Murphy is going to give the ball to Wilder as much as she can get it because she's ready to play today. Well, she's the play. She's so athletic, she's so strong. There you see the numbers from Athene, 7 of 11, 50 yards, the touchdown, of course, the interception. And when she just hung up early in the game. Now motion goes behind, that's Williams. It's a fake. Give goes right up the middle, and that is going to be very close to a first down. I think she came up just short. Tiffany Powers, Shanae Thomas, who's just been outstanding for Philadelphia, especially the second half of the season with the stop. It's third down and less than a yard for Tampa for a big first down. Chandler Brown told us last night that Shanae Thomas is the top athlete on the team. In fact, he said that she is a freak. 
She can yeah. do everything, and I look for her to be all fantasy for like the next three to five years. Third down and a yard. Let's see if Matheny keeps this here on a quarterback keeper. Nope, it's a handoff going in. She's got a first down. Dives forward as the football down to about the 21 yard line. Heather Roy there with the stop. And it's a first down for Tampa. And Philadelphia is the quick strike. This is classic Tampa football. Four or five yards of play, Bobby. This is a great opening drive to start off the second half. Give the ball to Gorman right there. Just a basic sweep. But KK Matheny, now she's starting to look like the fantasy quarterback that she is. Driving straight down, answering Philadelphia's touchdown. Receiver split to both sides. Renda on the far side. Near side in motion is Williams. Now she'll go to that far side as well. Here's Gorman in motion. It's trips to the left. Matheny goes down to get it. Nice cut back across the middle. Brent Renda with it to about the 16-yard line. With the Coronish with the stop. And that's a gain of about five on the play. And again, this is Joel Murphy football right here at its best. Absolutely. And KK Matheny. She looks outstanding right now. She's in control. I think Liz Gorman's speech at halftime got the troops rallied. They look like a great team in the third quarter. They can keep this up. We're going to have a barn burner. A great drive to start the second half by Tampa. Now motion. Matheny comes up under center. Wilder comes back behind. Handoff goes to Wilder. Look at her go inside the 10. First down, Tampa. Down to about the seven yard line. Sheltree's Turner right there. Great drive by Tampa. Yo Murphy giving the ball right here. Just a basic sweep. Great blocking. Philadelphia's defense only giving up seven points a game. Already Tampa's got 16 driving again, and there's 13 minutes left in the half. Now Gorman will leave. Matheny goes over the play. It's first and goal. Football at the eight-yard line. Tiffany Power standing right next to him. Motion goes behind. That's Brittany Williams. Fake a pitch. Roll outside, and the pass is incomplete. She might have hurried that just a little bit. Looking for Tiffany Powers. It's incomplete. And it'll be second and goal from the eight-yard line. Great call by Yo Murphy. Fake the, that action is awesome. Fake the sweep, come back. Ball should have been caught, but KK should have put it right in the pads. Could have been a touchdown there for Tampa. Now Tiffany Powers will leave as Foreman comes in. Second and goal. Inside the 10, I thought online, then I moved. Foreman and Williams right next to Matheny. Now Williams goes in motion to the left side. Hand off is Gorman and she's going nowhere. Jenny Butler on the blitz. Butler read that perfectly. Didn't get any blocking. Butler comes right in for the tackle for loss. A 4-3 defense inside the 10. Jenny Butler is the number one all-around player in the league, and she's showing it right there. Now Philly's showing why they're the number one defense in the league. Now third and goal. Football back at the 12-yard line after this loss. Butler just reads that so well. She's so strong, Bob. It's very difficult to block her one-on-one. -on -one. When they go into this 4-3 inside the 10, it's tough to stop. Now they're outside the 10. They go back in that three-man look up front. Williams in motion. See if they're looking for Renda. She's triple team. Matheny with all day. Now throws, finds Wilder. She's got it at the five, down to the three yard line. She got hit hard. Jalisa McCrary right there with the stop. What a hit. And we've got fourth down, a huge fourth down for Tampa right now, fourth and goal. Watch the protection. Yo Murphy called for maximum protection. She can sit that back there all night, and she should. She dumps it off there to Wilder. Good play, but now it comes down to critical fourth down. In a must-score situation, Tampa with it. Fourth and goal at the Philadelphia three-yard line. Matheny has not run with it much this year. May not run here. Williams goes in motion. Hand off Gorman and hold it. We've got flags down and a very late vicious late hit. hit. Jenny Butler with a vicious late hit that I would be surprised if we don't see something on. They didn't Ball call side. that. I think they called Ball it offside. Number 18. Five yard penalty. Replay fourth down. No call on no the late call. hit by Butler. Wow. They, they got away with one, Tommy. You aren't kidding. Watch this, Tommy. Hand off to Gorman. The whistle blows right there. The yeah, the play is done. done. And it is, that is just a, look at this. Actually, Gorman yeah, put, a, put Gorman. a. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, See, I, I, a little close line Stand here. corrected. <laughs> Officials, terrific job. Fourth and goal now, Matheny. 
with some time. Steps up, lobbed one corner of the end zone. Oh, she got it. She got it. Bryn Renda, corner of the end zone. Epic Tuck catch. Down Tampa. That is the best catch of the year, Tommy. Unbelievable to put Tampa back in the game. Watch this. This is incredible. Renda goes up in triple team then catches it. KK puts it up the only Tampa place that it can be caught. It's in the stands. She goes up and takes it out of the stands. The guy in the plaid, he should able to pass interference on him. Wow, what a catch. Now the two-point conversion. Gorman now goes in motion to the left side. Wilder comes in motion behind the theme. It's a give. Wilder left side is in. Two-point conversion is good. Look at the ball game in LA. 10-31 left. 28-24. Philly will have it. Here's the touchdown pass from behind. Deep corner of the end zone. Rendo was not going to be denied. It's a four-point game. For the ultimate LFL fan fave, the nominees are on your screen now. You can vote on Twitter at MTV underscore two. Vote as many times as you like. We'll announce the results as soon as we get back for the Western Conference Finals. All right, Philadelphia now looking for an answer. It's a four-point game, 28 to 24. Christy Bell, who's just been terrific so far, hands off. Roach comes around the right side. Roach out to the 20, maybe the 21-yard line. Gain of about five on the play. Adrian Burnell with the stop. And Bobby, you've got to think now. Tampa's got to take one of these things away. If Bell beats him deep, Bell beats him deep. They've got to try and take away as much as they can with Rose. That's exactly what they're going to do. As you can see, they got four up front. They got one deep safety. They're going to let them pass if they want to. The Ro they got to stop the Roach. Roach comes around the right side. She's out near the 23 or 24 yard line. She'll be just shy of the first down. And now, Philadelphia has run it twice. It's third and one. They've got to throw the football twice to get a first down. Every four downs, you have to throw the ball twice. So right now, it's going to be interesting. What kind of defense Tampa's going to have? She's got to throw. They might throw a little screen pass to the Roach. They only need a yard. It's going to be interesting what they're going to do. Bell is very deep in the shotgun. Back at about the 18-yard line. Roach is under center. Roach with a keeper goes right up the middle. They have to throw the football. They have to throw the football, and there's no call. The Tampa sideline is screaming that they didn't throw the football, and I would be too. I think they got away with one there, Tommy. They, they had to throw the football. They're talking about it. They had to throw. There There's you the go. Flag. There you go. Here's the referees. The ruling on the second down play was a forward pass. The ball went forward. It was not hand-to-hand. -hand. That's a legal play. First down. So they're saying that it was a pass, and Yul Murphy is saying, are you kidding me? Wow. Well, if, but if that's what they rule, Steve Strimling is the one who wrote the rules. They're the rules, Bobby. You have to pass twice. Now, it gets controversial when they call like a little forward pass, like it's almost an under, underhand pass. Bell. They call it. Bell looking, looking. Now rolls out to the left side, across the 20, inside the 15, down near the 10-yard line. Christy Bell with a huge run. She doesn't run very much, and now we've got a little pushing and shoving down at the sideline. It's first and goal for Philadelphia. The key to that play was Mary Rose Roach. Watch this block on Wilder. Wilder's hurt on this block. Roach made a Roach block and put her on her back. Wilder's hurt. She's living off the field. Watch that block right there on Wilder. Courtney Wilder being helped off, favoring that, looks like that right leg a little bit. Now Philadelphia with the football, first and goal. Football at the eight-yard line. Bell with some pressure steps up. Throws it's caught into the end zone. Stephanie Orgy, touchdown Philadelphia. Great catch by Orgy. That was an option pass. She could either come inside or out. She fades like she's coming in. She reverses out. An easy throw there for Bell. Bell is on fire today, Tommy. She has three touchdown passes on the year coming into this game. She has been the MVP easily so far in this one as Orgy's got it. She makes she it inside a pressure. Orgy comes outside, right on the money. Bell, great play. 
Billy looking for two now. In the Wild Roach formation. Roach goes right along the right side. She is in. Mary Rose Roach in for the two-point conversion. And this game starts to get a little bit heated here in L.A. 36-24, seven and a half left. And Tampa has got some questions. Got to answer. To do that, they need K.K. Matheny right now to be able to throw a touchdown pass. Sell it, Bryn. You got to be in that corner, okay? I got to have some time. On one, ready. How well did she call that? And here's the result of that play. Boy, she sold that. She did the whole thing. Now fades, looks, steps up, throws over the middle. It is caught. Wilder's got it in the Philadelphia territory. Down at about the 17-yard line. Jenny Butler with the stop. Tampa is able to move the football like no one has on Philadelphia all year long. Great protection. Matheny looked cool in the pocket right there. She waited for the opening. She looks great, Tommy. She's going to answer right back here, right on the money. Tampa's going to come back. Well, and it's great to see Wilder back on the field. Hey, she's a gamer, just like her dad. She won't come off. Matheny looks to the left side, now motioning to Renda, trying to get Renda's attention. Now gets the snap. Fades. It's a delay handoff. Here comes Tiffany Powers. Powers inside the 15, down to about the 13-yard line. Jaleesa McCrary with a gain of about five or six, make it second down. Let's go down to the field. Lauren Gardner standing by, Lauren. Well, thank you very much. Speaking of Courtney Wilder, we do have an injury update on her. Obviously, she's back on the field seeing some game action, but it's a possible torn meniscus on her right oh. leg. League doctors did clear her to continue playing, but it's something to keep an eye on. So she's in pain, just like Liz Gorman. That's a painful injury. Motion as Brittany Williams goes to the left side, and the snap was very delayed. Matheny was not ready for it. Now rolls out, trying to buy some time, and throws it into the uh, into the stands. KK Matheny was clearly not ready for that snap. Did not call for the football. This happened. This happened to the Dallas Cowboys all year. Matheny was not looking for the ball. There doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency. Right now, Matheny's got to step up, get in control, and take this team in for a score. Third and six. Gorman goes in motion left side. See if they look for Renda here. Matheny trying to buy some time in trouble. Throws Wilder's got it inside the 10. Five yes. touchdown, Tampa! Matheny looked incredible in that play. She waited for Wilder to come underneath. Watch this, Wilder breaks out late. Matheny finds her, touchdown Tampa. What a rock em, sock em game. Tampa comes right back. Matheny about to get annihilated. Finds Courtney Wilder for the touchdown and now they're going for the two point conversion to bring it back to a four point game. Tampa now has 30 points. They were shut out last time they played. Sheltrice Turner is wide to the right side. Now Turner goes in motion behind the theme. Handoff goes to Turner, left side, she waltzes in. Two point conversion is good. We've got a four point game in LA with just under five minutes left. KK Matheny, the quarterback, has been the general back there for Tampa. Here she is about to get hit. Buy in time, buy in time. Here comes the hit, the pass. Courtney Wilder in, touchdown, and we have got a terrific game here in L.A. She looked great. Matheny, Matheny checked down. She looked down the field, waited for Wilder to get open, checked down, scored a touchdown. This year, Philadelphia gave up 30 points. 18 in the first half, 12 in the second half. They've given up 32 today, far more or two more than they gave up all season long. Here's Christy Bell. Little pitch pass goes forward. Roach comes around the outside. Bounces away from one. Gets across. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Philadelphia Passion and Mary Rose Roach. Was tackled twice. Looked like she was down in the backfield. 
throat, scores a touchdown. That's why she is the greatest player ever to play in the LFL. She stopped. She stopped right there, reverses out, turns nothing into a long touchdown. Incredible run by Roach. Wow. This is a heavyweight fight, Bobby. This is one knockout blow from the right. A left cross, a right uppercut. They're going back and forth. It's like Frazier Ali. Matheny is, look at her on the sideline. She's ready to go. The Thrilla in Manila, only this one's in L.A. Roach with it, goes right up the middle, dives into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is good. Wow, this is a terrific football game. Let's look at this touchdown one more time, Bobby. Do you remember Marcus Allen's reverse move against the Redskins for a touchdown? Look at that reverse. Same thing, from nothing into a ridiculous touchdown for the Roach. Four minutes, 20 seconds left. It's 44-32. Tampa's going to need a stop, but they've got a score here. This is incredible. Nobody, I mean, nobody in Vegas would have thought this. That line, they thought this was going to be a runaway. Receiver split to both sides. Almost a late substitution. Now Matheny fades back. Looking deep. Looking for Gorman. Now throws in the pass. Is caught and dropped. Had it just for a second, but just could not hang on. And it's incomplete. Second and ten. Here's KK Matheny. Let's listen in to KK. Go! The hell? Same play. Same play. Same play. Same play. Same play. And it ended in a touchdown. Now here's Matheny. No pressure whatsoever. She's looking long, and she's taking forever. She's got all day. It's a great job by her offensive line. Still looking. Still looking. Now lobs one out, and it's incomplete. Great defense on the play. Crystal Leach, a backup defensive back, came in and knocked that one away. Looking for Courtney Wilder, and it's incomplete. Clock running with three minutes to go. 44-32. It is third down and 10 yards to go. Tampa's got to start playing with some urgency. The clock is running under three minutes. It continues to go until we get to two minutes. That was a great play by KK. I don't know why Philly didn't rush anybody on that play. Third and 10. Fake a handoff to Gordon. Matheny fades back, steps up, looking long, looking for Gorman, and this one goes into the second row, and is now a huge fourth down for Tampa. Fourth and 10 at their own 15-yard line, down 44 to 32. With three minutes left, Tommy, there's still time to run the ball, pound it out. Do what they did the last scoring drive. Mix it up. Right there, they're dropping back, trying to get it all one play. Not, not smart play call right there. there. No, you've got to, and you've got to hurry. The clock is against you now, even though it's going to stop here pretty quick at the two-minute mark, and they're not going to get the play off. Two-minute warning is here. They had a chance to get a play off and buy a timeout. Two-minute timing rules are not effect. Tampa Bay has one timeout. Philadelphia has one timeout. This will be a media timeout. 44-32 is our score. Philadelphia with the lead over Tampa. Tampa's got it. A huge fourth down, fourth and ten. When we come back here to L.A. Yep, fourth down. This is it. This is the season. Two minutes left. Down 44-32 in the football, fourth and ten. Matheny gets it. Philadelphia rushes two. Matheny with all day. Steps up, throws. Caught first down. Bryn Renda with a catch. Whitney Peronish with the stop. A huge first down. When KK Matheny's in trouble, you know where she's going. And now we've got a challenge flag. How clutch was that? How clutch, fourth and 10 on the money. KK Matheny is now playing like the all fantasy girl we know she is. We are listening to the official in Chandler Brown. Is your challenge possession? Yeah, it's just one, drops it. If there's already been possession, let me just make sure. So they're discussing whether there was possession before the girl, before Renda hit the wall. Now Steve Strimling will go back.
let's hear Steve now is going to explain this. The ruling on the field is there was possession gained. The runner then hit the wall, which is out of bounds, and then dropped the ball. Philadelphia will not challenge the ruling. First down. A huge first down. All right, this is one of those first where you just get the feeling this is going to come down first to the last play or two. That was an unbelievable play by KK Matheny, keeping their season alive. Matheny puts Gorman in motion to the near side. Steps up, throws the pass, he's caught at about the 20, gain of a couple pass on the play. Delisa McCreary with the stop. And Janae Thomas, Thomas, Thomas as well. Thomas. Brittany Williams with the catch. Second and six, Tampa. Second down and about seven now. Matheny fades back. Looking, looking, lob. And oh, what a catch by Wilder! It was a juggling act. Wilder with an unbelievable catch. Has it down at about the nine-yard line, and Tampa, I believe, is called timeout. That was an epic catch by Wilder. Incredible. I don't know how she got that. I thought it was overthrown. Great throw, great catch. Wow, and timeout. Stops the clock, too. Unbelievable play by Wilder. Tommy, did you not think this was overthrown? Yeah, oh, I thought you was throwing it away, and Wilder comes up with it. Now, Bobby, let's talk for a second here. There's a minute 25 left. Obviously, Yo Murphy knows they need a touchdown here, and he spent that timeout. You only get one timeout per half, so now he has spent that timeout, and if they have to stop Philadelphia, they're not going to be able to because of the clock. No, they're obviously not. going for the onside kick, which they're going to have to do. Let's listen in. So here they come. A minute 25 left. Our score is 44 for Philadelphia, 32 for Tampa. Tampa, the shocking team, beat Orlando in the last game of the regular season to make it to the playoff. First and goal. Football at the nine yard line. Matheny fades back. Looking, looking. Now wants Gorman to fade out, throws, and it's almost intercepted. Perfetto, Angela Perfetto had a hand on it when the intended receiver, Brittany Williams, then turned and started to go up the field. Watch this right here. She's scrambling around. Williams turned in, inside, and KK threw it outside. It's okay. It stops the clock. There's still a minute 19. They got a lot of time. They're only down 12. They're on the nine-yard line, Tommy. Just take your time right here. Be clutch. And I wouldn't be shocked if they go to Wilder. Yeah, you've got to think it's Wilder or Render. Those are the two. If you're going to throw this football, that's where it's going to go, you'd think. Brittany Williams in motion. Matheny, quick throw right side. Williams trying to get outside, and she stopped by Heather Roy for no game. Not real keen on that play call right there. you got your two big weapons. Wilder is coming up with catches. Unbelievable. Put her in the end zone. Give her a jump ball. The kind of athlete she is. Now Matheny goes over to here from Yo Murphy on what the call play call is. Lock is stopped as she hit the sideboard. She was out of bounds. With a minute 15 left. Third and goal. Football still at the nine yard line. Matheny gets the snap. Has some pressure. Rolls out of the pocket. In trouble. Throws and the pass is incomplete. And that may have been the best thing for Tampa to have that incomplete. Matheny got hammered on the play. Janae Thomas absolutely annihilated Matheny at the end of this play. The freak came up with the play of the year for Philadelphia. She blew through the blocker like she wasn't even there, put the pressure on Matheny, Matheny, and unbelievable play by the freak. Yet another huge fourth down for Tampa. Now fourth and goal, football stays at the nine yard line. They have to score a touchdown here or this one is done. Philadelphia will get it. Tampa is out of timeout. They must score a touchdown here. And now the flags are thrown. Delay of game call. You can't have that, Tommy. You cannot have that in that situation. So fourth and goal. Now from the 14 and Philadelphia with a late substitution. Jenna Robertson comes on. Matheny fades. Looking, looking. Matheny in trouble. Scrambles away. Still trying to buy some time. Her offensive line's been terrific. Throwing it up in the corner of the end zone. And it's intercepted. Mary Rose, Rose with the interception. 
Mazzini goes down. We've got a flag now. Let's see if this is holding. Hold on. Illegal defense. Second blitz, number 17, Philadelphia. Five yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Wow. wow. About that. Wow. You talk about live to fight another day. And now Roach is down. Roach is down in the, at about the two yard line. Mary Rose Roach, who got the interception, is down at the two yard line. Let's see if you can see what happens here, Bobby. Tampa Bay is back from the dead. Roach goes up with the ball. She catches it. Oh. oh, on her ankle, her ankles rolled up. That could be huge if this game continues on. Roach goes up, makes the play. Game, she thinks the game's over. Philadelphia thinks the game over. Her ankle gets rolled on right there. Hopefully it's just a little sprain. She's up and walking already, Tommy. And it looks like they're... Uh... Yeah, she's got a bloody nose. What a huge play for oh. Tampa, though. Oh. They're still in this game. It's over. You're thinking this game is done, and yet, now as Roach comes out bloody, Tampa lives to fight one more battle. It's fourth and goal right back at the nine-yard line. The Passion fans were buying their tickets to Vegas after that play. They were ready. Fourth and goal. One more time. Here we go. Has Tampa got an answer for Philadelphia? 55.7 seconds left, and now Chandler Brown wants a timeout. Their first charge team timeout, timeout, timeout Philadelphia. Hey fans, don't forget to stop by the official now, you've coached in this league. You were the Miami head coach for a couple of uh, Let's go down to the field. Lauren Gardner with an update on Rose. Yeah, guys, I just spoke with her. She shrugged it off, said, hey, I just have a bloody nose. It's no big deal. She will not miss a beat. Okay, thanks, Lauren. Bobby, you've coached in this league for two years with Miami. You've been in situations like this as a player, as a coach. You're down 12. Let's talk, first of all, Tampa. What are you looking for out of Tampa? What are they, where are they going to go? Tampa's going to do what they're doing. They're getting great protection because Philly hasn't been bringing the heat. Philly, on the other hand, has to bring the three. They can't let Matheny sit in the pocket. They got to bring some heat on her because when she gets heat, she throws it up for grabs. Other side, if you're Philadelphia, you're looking for them to bring heat here on this play. You got to. I would think you have to. If you sit back, Matheny's going to find somebody open. She sits back there with no rush. It's like playing touch football on the street. You wait until somebody gets open. Now Matheny has Sheltrice Turner behind her. Fourth and goal. Matheny rocks back and forth, gets the football with a fake, rolls out right side. She's in trouble, and she's going to go down. Terrific job, Jenna Robertson, the all-fantasy center. Jenna Robertson comes up with a huge stop for Philadelphia, and it looks like the passion is going to Vegas next weekend. Jenna Robertson, what a play. She shows up when she has to show up. One of the best two-way players in the league. She had to come up with a play. She sacks KK Matina. Philadelphia will now take on the winner of the next game, which should be a rock'em, sock'em affair. It'll, it'll be Las Vegas and L.A. Christy Bell, your game MVT, MVP takes a knee. Crowd doesn't like it, but that is a terrific win for Philadelphia. What a game for Tampa. They did everything they could do against the number one ranked offense and the number one ranked defense. There's Bell's number, six of six, 115 yards, four touchdowns. It has been the Christy Bell and Mary Rose Road Show. Christy Bell came to play today. We knew Roach was gonna show up. She shows up all the time. Roach and Bell are the top two going into the, the lingerie bowl. I can't wait to see them play next week. Philadelphia has won. Chandler Brown and the Philadelphia Passion celebrating on their sideline. How about that? That's awesome. Tampa leaves a dejected team, but I tell you, they did so much more than I thought they could do. They were terrific. Absolutely. It looks like there's one team from Philadelphia going to a championship game this year, Tommy. The confetti comes out on the field. The Philadelphia Passion are going to Vegas for the LFL Championship, the Lingerie Bowl, next Sunday.
Christy Bell, the MVP, gets a congratulations hug from her head coach. And now the team celebrates <laughs> the confetti, making a few <laughs> confetti angels. Oh, you've got to love the thrill of winning. Let's go down to the field with our game MVP, Christy Bell. Here's Lauren Gardner. Yes, our MVP, Christy Bell. You went from being the MVP of the fantasy game to having a bit of a tough season. How does it feel to come out and play with it like this when it really counts? It feels absolutely amazing. You know, I've been waiting for this all season. You know, I had a very tough season through injuries and just not getting my head in the right place to come out here and show my team that I can support them. And, you know, they've done so much for me this season. My O-line is amazing. They've made every block. You know, and my receivers have made every route. They've run it perfectly. You know, I've missed a few of my passes, but tonight I started feeling it, you know. And everybody doing the thing, and Mary Rose Roach, I mean, what can we say? She holds our team together, you know. She's definitely one of the best captains, you know, we could possibly have on this team. So she keeps us all up. This Philadelphia team has a very calm demeanor. What was your guys' mindset coming into this big matchup? Uh, really, we were just thinking about, you know, just everybody doing their job. Chandler says you got to be perfect to win, and you know we practice perfect, and we want to come out here and play perfect for the crowd. We want to play perfect for the people who are watching us at home, and you know everywhere across, you know not even the country, but across the world at this point, it's fantastic. So we just wanted to bring a good game out to everybody and show them what we were made of. Finally, big Western Conference matchup right after this. Are you guys going to stay and watch, or are you just going to celebrate? Uh, I think we're going to have to celebrate first. Maybe we'll come back out and watch a little bit, or you know see it on TV, but. We got to go in the locker room and celebrate. This is a big win. It was a hard-hitting game. The, uh, Tampa came out here and played a great game for us. So, you know, made it made it exciting. Thank you so much, Christy. Congratulations on your victory. That's Christy Bell, quarterback for the Philadelphia Passion and our MVP, guys. All right, Lauren. One of the members for the finals dance is set. The Philadelphia Passion are going to Vegas for lingerie ball next Sunday. Final score today from Citizens Bank Arena. Philadelphia 44, Tampa 32. Coming up next, it's the Western Conference Championship game between the Las Vegas Sin and the Los Angeles Temptation, live from Citizens Bank Arena here in Ontario, California. On behalf of Bobby Yuko, Lauren Gardner, and the rest of our LFL crew, this is Tom Dore extending one final congratulations to the Philadelphia Passion, the 2012 LFL Eastern Conference Champions. Who will they face? Lingerie Bowl a week from today.